Ini adalah berita Tamil pukul 7 malam dari TV8 bersama anda. Wanakam, Mukia Seide, Muriana Tanir Nirwadega, Aigu Mimpade, Nada Watinggal, Datuk Sri Dr. Mahathir Parindurai. Matia Seide, English Lewat Sikapuram, Mikanandri, Arata Murai Sandi Pamilarum. Good evening and this is the TV8 English News at 8pm. We are newscasters, I'm Patrick Goh and I'm Raymond Teo. Korean car manufacturer Kia will be teaming up with Singapore to produce their own first national car. It will simply be called Kiasu. Hmm, Singaporeans, Kiasu, very true. According to a recent survey on married couples, only 30% of married men cheat in Malaysia, while the rest cheat in Singapore and Thailand. Hmm, I think Thailand more. Thailand, Phuket, you know, Hatnya. Thailand, they go to Phuket and they come back after Phuket. How many times have you been there? A woman caught operating an illegal massage parlor in Ipoh was asked if she pleaded guilty. And in her defense, she claimed that she was only a sleeping partner. <laughs> sleeping partner, massage parlor, Ipoh. Hmm. The first death of overdose of Wagra pills was reported in Ipoh last night when an old man was reported to have taken 20 Wagra pills and his poor wife died. My, his poor wife died. He took 20 pills and his wife died. Painful death. Under a new law passed by the parliament today, all sodomy cases will now come under the jurisdiction of the immigration department for illegal entry. <laughs> new law, huh? illegal entry. That's right. Ha! Huh. This is uh, some interesting news that was just sent in by DHL Korea where DHL stands for Dear Hanta Laju atau Dua Hari Lambat or Delivery Halfway Lost hmm. Mike Tyson will be visiting Malaysia soon on the great possibility of setting up a boxing academy and it has been confirmed that the former IGP of Malaysia will be appointed as the chairman Dish, aduh sakit yang mata ku hmm. Laki not sakit yang punggung ku a man in his 20s was charged in an EPO court for the possession of ecstasy pills. And when the judge asked him if he pleaded guilty, he just shook his head and said, Not guilty. Not guilty. According to a survey conducted recently at hospitals in Malaysia, Hospital Fatima has recorded the highest number on the sales of anti tetanus shorts. TV8 crew visited Hospital Fatima recently and discovered that with the introduction of Viagra pills, elderly wives were seen queuing up requesting doctors to give them anti tetanus jabs, fearing that their husbands may start using their old and rusty tools again. <laughs> this is definitely because of Viagra. Definitely. Definitely. Thank you for watching the 8 p.m. news with your Ham Sub newscasters, Patrick and Raymond. The Bahasa Malaysia news will be at at 9 p.m. Have a pleasant evening and thank you for watching TV8 News, your latest uncensored channel. Thank you. Terima kasih. Vanakam. Mkoi sai. Toche. Merci beaucoup. Domo arekotu kasemas. Sayonara.